Hey guys, welcome to WeWork Life. I'm Rick. So when you go into your local home center, there's a million different brands and a million different technologies. From the entry level, you know, $100 for a set of drill and impact driver, all the way up to the standalone tools with the hydraulic brushless impact drivers. You know, there's all this marketing jargon about quieter, longer lasting, more torque, more impact. So what's really the difference? So I want to go through some of these popular drills and just kind of show you what those technologies actually do and what the differences actually are and what the difference is between the facts and the marketing jargon out there. So thanks for joining me today. And if you do have any more detailed questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below and I'll try to get you an answer. And please hang with me till the end of the video because I do have another giveaway from Rigid coming up. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to look at the rigid Gen, 4, Gen X4 versus Gen 5X. This is the cheapest impact driver within Rigid's lineup. You can always tell the cheap Rigid tools because they just have a sticker instead of the raised lettering on them. Really bare bones. It's plastic housing. Um, there's no speed control on here. Uh, it does have a light switch, but the light's down here in the base. Um, although there is no speed control, it does still have the infinite control on the trigger, so you really can get away with most things with this. But this is it. It is a brushed motor, which means that there are brushes um, that looks like that will have to be replaced someday. Um, it doesn't look like they're intended to be replaced. It's got the security bolts back here holding the thing on. Next you have your mid-range. Um, this is your brushless design from Rigid. It still has the, uh, extra, the button here for controlling the lights, but the lights now are up here near the chuck. It does now have a speed control with three different settings. So slow, medium, and fast. Now that we have an idea what we're working with, let's see how they stack up against each other. Old versus new. Looking real quickly at weight, the Gen 5X actually weighs just a little bit more than the X4. This is by no means a scientific test, but I set up an FPL meter to measure the sound output from the two drills. The 5X actually managed to be just a little bit louder than the 4X. Nothing significant though. When you compare the important category of speed, the 5X is a clear winner. Let's move on to the other important category of battery life. This next part is going to be a little boring, pun intended. I'm using an auger bit and a freshly charged 2 amp hour battery to see how long these things can drill. In this scenario, the 4X is desperately underpowered for drilling. That's not slowed down at all. This is going to be a long The Gen 4 managed just 21 and a half holes before the battery went to work speed. Let's see how well the 5X does. This test is where the 5X really shined. Almost 100% improvement in battery life over the previous generation. And it didn't at all feel underpowered to do this job. The Gen 5 managed 40 and a half holes through this test before it stalled out. Really setting itself apart as the value pick in this group. So the next tier is going to be your, and the higher end stuff is going to be your brushless lines. Now you have um, brushless, and Makita makes a brushless hydraulic now too, but you also have the brushless with the hydraulic impact. And the benefit of the hydraulic impact driver is both higher torque, and it's also gonna be a lot quieter. These are, that's really a professional feature. It's nice to have, and this thing's a joy to use, but if you're not gonna be working in customers' homes, or I guess if you're not gonna be working like I am inside with babies sleeping, uh, it's really not that important of a feature. I'd really be interested to see how Rigid's brushless, just standard brushless runs compared to the Makita, because at least in this comparison, it looks like the Makita was able to get a little bit more battery life with just a little more simple mechanism. As far as features go, uh, the Makita, it doesn't have that extra button for just turning the light on without starting the drill, um, but it does have an LED light. A little more convenient in place, but not quite as bright. It's right there underneath the chuck. Um, so I guess more convenient than what the 4X had down here, but uh, still 
not quite as prime a position as the, uh, the hydraulic impact has, the stealth force, and as the 5X. Just like before, let's check the weight on these. The Makita weighs in at a dainty just over 2 pounds. The Stealth Force, on the other hand, is just over 3. What a beast! On to the battery life test. This is where the brushless technology is really going to shine, and it did. The Makita improved on the 5X by almost 50%, drilling 60 holes. It didn't lack for power at all, and it was easy to handle. Wait a minute, where have I heard that sound before? You also get a funny little noise from the wastegate when you take your foot off the accelerator. Sounds like squirrels are being pushed into the engine. That's what this is. It's a squirrel mincer. Ah uh, yes, the squirrel mincer. I knew my encyclopedic knowledge of Top Gear would come in handy one of these days. The torque on the Stealth Force will immediately blow you away. It's amazing how quickly and easily it goes through wood. Next again we'll take a look at speed by driving a 4 inch lag. The Makita does a very respectable 4.5 seconds. Even with much lower impacts per second, the rigid Stealth Force still manages to put in the 4 inch lag and almost the exact same amount of time. Finally, the pièce de résistance of the uh, Rigid. We'll look at how loud it goes. So the Makita peaked out at 103 decibels, driving a four inch lag. And here's where the Rigid really shines, 94 decibels. That's half the volume. All right, so those are the basics of all the new technologies. To me, I think for your average homeowner, you know, light duty professional, I think something like the 5X is a great way to save your money and still get a lot of performance. Uh, the prices on the new brushless tools are really coming down really fast. So it is a good idea to keep an eye out for one of these. If you can get hold of them, that extra battery life's awesome. A little extra power, a little extra battery life really goes a long way. These would be good for professional use really, but as a home gamer, it's definitely worth having around. Now the uh, hydraulic impact drivers, these are great if you need to like put together a deck or something uh, as a homeowner. Or if you just want to treat yourself, it is a really nice tool. But the quiet feature really doesn't help out your average you know, home shop very much. But on a professional job site or in a customer's home, this is awesome. So I hope you found this informative. I do know some of you guys probably know all this like the back of your hand and it's, it's not news to you. But for some of the people that are a little less familiar with some of these tools, I just wanted to give a quick primer on what they all do. So thanks for joining me. And if you did find this useful, please like it below. And if it was just rambling and if the people who watch my channel really don't enjoy this kind of content, drop me a dislike and just let me know. So thanks for watching today. And I really appreciate all the new subscribers that are following my channel. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please take a second to consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. The link's just down below. And for all of you guys that have been subscribing and I guess all the new people too, as I promised at the beginning of the video, we've got a new giveaway from Rigid. So just in time for spring, I guess, Rigid released their new 60,000 BTU uh, propane heater. It is a hybrid heater to work, work off either the Rigid battery system or just off an extension cord. Um, and off a 20 pound bottle of propane, this thing will heat 1,300 square feet for up to 12 hours. So it's a really efficient, really nice technology. Um, with the brushless motor, it's really quiet. Uh, it's, it's good to have around. It got my shop the other day from 25 degrees to like 60 degrees in a matter of minutes. So to enter this contest, I do have a link below. Just check the uh, gleam.com link below. It'll ask you for a little bit of information, give you a couple extra ways to enter, just so we can track it and keep it all even and fair. And then uh, I'll be announcing a winner uh, mid-month next month. So thanks for joining today. And remember to keep your tools sharp and keep your mind even sharper.